All right, guys, we're back and we're ready to get started. So what we're gonna do now is with the drone facing perfectly in front of you, and with it still plugged into the computer, and you can see right here, COM88, we're gonna go ahead and click Connect, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to get in the habit of doing the following. I want you to always click to reset your Z-axis, and I want you to always click to calibra calibrate your acceler accelerometer. Let me show you what that means real quickly, okay? Watch what happens to the drone when I turn it like this. Just, just, just use like the yaw here, ready? See that? Look at my screen. See how it turns? Now watch what happens if I click reset Z-axis. What this is doing is this is basically saying, oh, okay, this is going to be north. And so now if I put my drone back, actually, now my drone's going to be crooked and off to the left. So you want to make sure your drone is straight when you, when you set the Z-axis. And there you go. We're going to go ahead and click it. And you may see it vary a degree or so. Don't worry about it on your heading. The next thing is go ahead and do your accelerometer. Now, if you click it, what's going to happen is it's, you're basically telling the drone this is a level, okay? So watch what happens if I tilt the drone and I click Calibrate Accelerometer. See? It's going to put it back to level because it's saying it thinks that this is level because I calibrated the accelerometer to read level. That's what this button does. Now, when I put my drone back down, now if I was to arm my drone and it was allowed to take off at this angle, this drone would take off and go, go extremely to the left. Uh, as you can tell. So that's why we need to be as straight as possible and as flat as possible. Now we're going to click Calibrate Accelerometer. Our hope is, is that at a certain point we reach zero all the way or as close to zero as possible. All right. So I'm going to accept three. That's fine because I've got this cable pulling on my drone anyway. So let me just go ahead and accept that. All right. Once we've done this part, let's go to our Ports tab. All right. Now you're going to see the USB VCP is on. That is this USB port that's plugged in. Do not ever turn this off, okay? Don't touch it because if you do, you won't be able to get back in your drone and into the, uh, into the board at all, all right? So leave this on. And what we wanna do is we wanna do the following. We have your audio set, your video, it's called Smart Audio, but we have your video set to be able to be controlled by the radio that you're gonna have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to UART3, we're gonna go all the way to the end, and we're gonna drop this down, and we're gonna select IRC tram. Okay, that's your smart audio. Then we're going to come all the way back and we're going to go to UART 6 and we're going to turn this here right there, turn that on. Leave everything else alone like it is. So you have on on the VCP up here, you have on on the UART 6 under serial, this is for your radio receiver, and then you have IRC tramp on right here for your smart audio, which we'll discuss later what that is. Once you've got these three items set up and nothing else on, Click Save and Reboot. Once your uh, COM port is back up, go ahead and click Connect. Do your Z-axis. Do your Calibrate Accelerometer. And if you go to your Ports tab now, you will see that these three items are exactly like this. If you do not have this, your drone will not work, so please make sure you have this. When that's done, you're going to go to your Configuration tab. Configuration tab is going to have some options on it. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, everything here is fine because if you'll notice on our setup, our drone is actually facing forward on the screen just like it is on the table. If it wasn't, we would have to come over here and adjust this. And what this is saying is, let's say for some reason our board was mounted at an angle, we would have to set that angle up here. We don't have to do that in this case, so ignore this. Ignore the accelerometer trim right now. Um, there's, nothing to, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing to adjust on our trim for our accelerometer. Here's where I want you to pay attention. So the gyro update frequency, we won't get into that right now. It's not an issue. And the PID loop frequency, this is low because we're using one shot 132, which I'll discuss with you later. I want you to leave the accelerometer on and turn off barometer and magnetometer. On the personal, personalization, go ahead and enter your name. I'm going to put mine. And this way you will know that it's your drone. Okay, let me wait for my keyboard to kick in. And my keyboard doesn't want to kick in right now, so hold on one second. I'll just type it from the keypad then, T-A-R-E. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so that's just put your name in there, and then that's going to save so that if you ever put the goggles on, you'll see your name on the screen. It's pretty neat. All right? RX lost, TX lost, or RX lost, RX set, we're going to leave those just like they are. Camera angle, we're going to leave like it is. Arming, uh, we're going to leave the angle at 25 degrees. And what this basically says is if the drone is tilted more than 25 degrees, you cannot arm it. 
I prefer to have it like that so you don't have any accidental armings while somebody's carrying it. A lot of people who get stuck in trees don't like that, but there is a workaround, so don't worry about it. So leave that just like it is for safety reasons, all right? And we'll come back to beeper configuration in a second, but let's look down here. Uh, leave uh, in-flight off, servo off, soft serial off, sonar off, telemetry off, LED strip off, display off, channel forwarding off, transponder off, air mode, you can t turn that off. OSD you'll leave on, dynamic filter you'll leave on. Okay, GPS you will leave off. And on the right side, you can leave all of these on because they're not gonna be used right now. So again, start from the top. You're gonna have eight and two. Nothing here is gonna be touched. And if there's anything that's changed, make sure it's zero, zero, zero. First, CW for counterclockwise 90 degrees, default, and then come down. Accelerometer trim is zero, zero. Personalization, put your name. D-shot uh, beacon configuration, leave it at one with off and off right here. Camera angle will be zero, arming angle will be 25, and then you will turn everything off except for OSD and dynamic filter on the left side, and on the right side you can leave all these on, that's not a big deal. Once you've accomplished this, click save and reboot. Then when your COM port comes back up, click connect. Okay, so now we've done ports, we've done configuration, power and battery we're not gonna do right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll, uh, let's see, we're gonna scroll down until we get to motors. Verify that you have one shot, one, two, five in here. This board can handle the D-Shot series as well, but there's a reason we're gonna use one shot and you'll learn that in just a minute. So one shot, one, two, five, then you want off and off, and then you want the values 1070, 2000, 1000, and those should automatically be in there uh, when you select one shot, one, two, five. Make sure that the motor direction is not reversed. This means, as you can see right here, if you're looking at that picture, you look at the drone, bottom right motor is motor one, Top right motor is motor two, bottom left motor is motor three, top left motor is motor four. And if you look at the arrows, those arrows are saying that that motor should be turning clockwise, one and four should be spinning to the right, two and three should be turning to the left. So clockwise and counterclockwise. All right. And pretty much at that point, we're gonna stop here, let you guys look over everything. Once you get this all selected um, and you're verified that it's right, you will click your save and reboot if you haven't done so already. And then what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna get right back to the beginning of beta flight. And now I'm gonna show you the next steps to getting your motors ready and getting your video ready. So we'll be right back.